Hey, how you doing? This is Coach Carvel Bailey right now. And uh, see, I got my son. He is knocked out, knocked out right now. Uh, hey, I know that I got some some, some grays coming. Um, I guess that's wisdom. I guess that is wisdom. And so speaking of wisdom, I want to impart and implore some, impart and implore some wisdom um, to you today. All right. See, so many athletes, so many athletes, they you know, feel or believe that they have to get in the gym. They have to get in the gym. They have to work out. They have to do certain moves. They have to do certain drills. And you get so many coaches that tell athletes, okay, you got to get in the gym. You got you to work on moves. You got to work on, you know, different things so that you can get better. Get in the gym and shoot 100, 200, 1,000 jump shots a day, right? Get in the gym and just work out, work out, work out. But see, here's the problem. I want to break down um, a correlation. So what happens is you have a lot of athletes um, that and a lot of parents that listen to a lot of coaches that um, can show an athlete how to do a certain move and then they can show them like what to do, right? So the how and the what is kind of goes hand in hand. They can show them how to do a certain thing and they can show them what to do, right? Okay, I want you to go through the legs. I want you to go through the legs, cross over, step back, right? So they can sh explain to them what to do. Then you have certain <clears throat> trainers or coaches, whatever you may want to call them. They may show people how to do it. But see, what we do um, in our coaching program in a way that I've always taught the game of basketball is I explain to the athletes why. And when an athlete understands why they're doing what they're doing, then and only then now the direct correlation to the why because a coach can show can tell somebody what to do and then they can show them how to do it but for the athlete that understands why they're doing it now they'll know when to do it does that make sense so you have a certain group that listens to the what and they may understand the how but that doesn't necessarily mean that they comprehend the why, which then leads them to the when. See, we already know who, but even when you under, because who is the person that's, that's doing it, but when you understand the why to everything that goes on on the basketball court, now you can understand, you know, again, when, but then you also understand who on the flip side meaning that you'll understand, right, who is a threat, who's not a threat, when you should do it, when you shouldn't do it. But it all stems back to the why. And so when you understand the why, so many athletes out here have never been taught. They've never been taught the why. And so because they have never been taught the why, they've only been told the what and shown the how, but they never understand the why. So they don't know the when and then they get totally confused with the who. Does that make sense? So athletes should understand why they're doing everything they do. And until coaches can start explaining and teaching athletes why they're doing a certain thing, they just continue to be satisfied with the what's and the how's. But if you really want to get better and take your game to the next level, and when you're talking about recruiting and, and, and getting scholarship offers and getting looked at, you must understand the why. Then you understand the who as well as the when. That's what separates good players from great players. So if you like this content, if this made sense to you, you'll definitely like and love my free case study video where I show parents of unrecruited and under-recruiting athletes how to save money on college by helping their student athlete get a college scholarship. And that all stems back to the why they're doing what they're doing. All right. So till next time, Coach Carville Bailey, peace.